story time. <laughs> so I went into the Amazon to this jungle lodge. And when I got there, there was this guy, and he was about my age, and he had done some survival trainings for the Brazilian military. On our voyage in the middle of the night, we spotted a bright green snake dangling up there in a tree. Everton, our guide, goes, we're gonna get that snake. Nice, that is an emerald boa. It's gotta be. Gotta be a what? I'm pretty sure that's an emerald. So he makes this rod, wraps a little rope on it, climbs up the tree, is dangling precariously from the tree and then snatches, snatches the snake. Carl, my Danish friend, in the back of the boat, is like, asks in Portuguese, is it lethal? Is it lethal? Is this a venomous snake? Is it venomous or lethal? Or no, lethal. 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 lethal, wow. It, it, it kills you with the, with the like he's got the snake like right up in my face pretty much like in this boat and he goes oh yeah it's by the way it's it's venomous and it's and it's lethal and you can see its fangs big fangs like sticking out of its mouth they're pretty intimidating looking fangs so I got to feel the snake wrapping around my arm and this entire time I'm thinking like I am I am letting death cling to my arm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the craziest Amazonian bracelet I've ever had. May, may I see your bracelet? Please? You want to touch? Just, I, I just want to touch. You want to touch my bracelet? Ooh. I'm losing the uh, the blood flow. I'm, I'm losing I'm losing the circulation in my fingers. It's gonna get difficult to the point where I'm not gonna be able to like close my hands. Well, now it's not so bad. Anyways, so then we drive back to our lodge, and he releases the snake. This poisonous snake, he releases it right next to our hammocks. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> I was a little concerned. Sort of like, uh, is it gonna climb in my hammock or is it not gonna climb in my hammock? I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have to wager this bet. Anyways, what ends up happening is this. I go home, I looked up pictures, I compared pictures of this snake to the emerald boa. I'm like, this is, this is an emerald boa. Capital letters, it's like, this is a non-venomous <laughs> snake. I'm like, man, like, I just felt so hoodwinked, you know? You look at that head and you're like, look at, look at those venomous sacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely still scares me a little bit. Yeah, he, I don't, I, I literally don't think he knew. Um, I think he actually thought it was a poisonous snake. There are biologists that like line up to get a chance to like see one of these in the wild because they're, they're so rare to find. They're rare enough to stumble across them in nature that population sizes are written as unknown. Like these snakes, they're, they're solitary, they're loners, they're nocturnal and hunt at night, which is probably why we found this. They catch most of their prey when hanging from a branch and they also coil up in a branch and they let their head sort of sit in the middle of that coil. When I mention fangs and you look at a picture of this and you're like, oh dude, that's, those are some wicked, wicked fangs technically from what i've read they're not fangs because fangs have to be connected to venom glands so these are not fangs people these are just wickedly dangerous looking teeth perfect for small monkeys i wish i knew that this was a non-venomous snake because i could have let it like wrap around my neck and like crawl over my body the pith the pith of the story is this if you're gonna go catch a snake you should know whether it's poisonous or whether it's not poisonous. If you don't know, I guess it's safe to assume that it is poisonous. At least it's, that's more forgiving than the other way around.